Hi guys, welcome to Lisette Crafts and Tells. Um, today I've got a video for you about how I section off a large canvas and by large I mean a canvas like a large Chuck Pinson. This is the Golden Valley. Uh, I unboxed that recently on my channel, you can look over there. And this is a canvas of 93 by 70 centimeters. I'm going to try to do this canvas in four weeks. So I'm going to section it off in four weeks. Let me show you what I mean by that. So what I'm using is a measuring tape, an X-Acto knife, these, these are release papers and these are double sided because guys I'm a bit clumsy so for me <laughs> that's great and I got these with my mermaid story diamond painting from star or um, I'll put a link over there for that unboxing but star or um, they sell these also in their accessories section so you can find them on their website or you can buy them on AliExpress or Etsy but it's just double-sided, double-sided release paper. And scissors, this I use to straighten. Washi tape, I've got golden because it's the Golden Valley. And a ruler, right. So first I'm going to roll this one flat. So as you can see this is pretty large <laughs> because this is on my dining room table right now. Okay guys, four weeks. So I'm going to divide it in weekly sessions. Um, so I have to cut this one in four. So bear with me. Right. Right guys. So it needs to be with the middle part is 46 and a half if you divide 93 um, by 2 but I'm going to do 46 on one side and then 47 on the other side okay right guys this is just a marker so you see 46 and then I put the washi tape on the line from the squares. This is a square diamond painting, but with rounds it's the same. Just the line, so this is the marker. So this is the part that I'm going to be doing last. So I'm going to start with this quarter so one two three and four and why I'm choosing to work like that is because when once I've finished this side I can roll it up and work on that side and when I'm working on this side I can roll that part up and just work over here so just to make sure that I don't need to spread out the entire canvas on my table so when I'm working on this side, I can do like this or the other way around because people always say that you need to roll it like this with the drills on the outside, but there are no drills on it. So if you do it like this, then you just have the half surface and I do the first quarter like that and then I can turn and do the other half like this. Or sometimes I work sideways. Just depends. Okay, so what I want to do guys, I want to be able to see part of the painting while I work. So I'm not going to take off the entire top. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to put washi tape over here and over here to make a cross first. Then I'm cutting out just this part and I'm just going to put release paper on this quarter. Okay. 
Right, so now I've got my cross for the four, four sections. Now I'm going to cut this part out and take the plastic off. But these I'm going to leave like that so I can still see my painting. I'm going to take an exacto knife and cut this out just along the border. And then you can just look, tear the paper off. Okay, so now this paper is off, so all we need to do is place these back. Right, so guys, I want to do this section in a week. I don't want to make a section too big. I'd like to work with smaller sections. Right, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these in half, because I think that, for me, is a nice size of a section to work on because this I think is too big. I prefer little pieces like this. I'll show you what the size of it is. It's about seven and a half centimeter by 10. And these are reusable guys. So I'm going to be using them for the entire painting. Right guys, as you can see, I'm lining them up from the bottom till the top. These parts are bigger than the last one. So that's always great to know when you're working that you know, oh, I've got a smaller one um, to end with. Right, so they're laying on top of each other with a bit of an overlap and you just pull this part out do this section and then go to the next. Um, I started with the part that I'm going to be doing last, that's over there. And then I just placed the other one on top. Alright, so guys, I made 24 sections because uh, I'm doing it per week. So I wanted to do four sections for a day because I like to work in smaller squares. So they're not all the same size. These ones are. The top ones are the smaller ones. And then I've got three rectangular ones over here. I'm going to be starting in the left bottom side and work my way, way like that. Um, there are 24 sections, so I need to do four per day. Uh, that's six days and uh, then I've got one day off or I can catch up with the sections that I didn't do and as you can see guys the rest of the painting is still visible so I'll be doing this section then I'm going to once I finish this I'm going to section off this section, then that one, and then that one. And you can reuse your release papers. So I'm just going to use this system for all four. So I don't need extra release paper and I'm not covering up the entire painting yet because I like to see parts of it. This way it feels like you're doing a smaller painting and it's not as daunting. So that's how I section off a large diamond painting like this. Okay guys, what do you think? Is this something that you would like to use or do you like to cover up your entire painting? So if you're new to this channel and you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you as a follower. And guys, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up on your way out. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!